In this video, I'm going to show you how to write expressions in word and numerical forms. The first three examples are expressions that are written in number form and we're going to rewrite them in word form. In order to determine how to rewrite the expression in word form, we need to look at the two operations included in the number form of the expression. The operations are multiplication and addition. Multiplication is going to come first because that's what comes first in order of operations, and the parentheses are around the multiplication problem. You don't need parentheses around multiplication because multiplication comes first, but it doesn't hurt to group them that way. Think of which vocabulary word we can use to represent the multiplication problem. So 4 times 8 can either be written as 4 times 8, or I like to use the product of 4 and 8. The next operation is addition, so we can use words like sum, or in this case, since it's following another operation, I'm going to use the term increased by 5. So we have the product of 4 and 8, comma, increased by 5. The comma separates the two operations, showing which one comes first. And remember that there are often many ways that you can rewrite these expressions. In the second example, addition comes first and division comes second. So I'm going to use the term the sum of 18 and 8, and then add a comma in to separate the order and then put divided by 2. So the expression is written as the sum of 18 and 8, comma, divided by 2. You can also use something like half the sum of 18 and 8. That means you're taking the sum of 18 and 8 and dividing it by 2. The third example has the operations division and subtraction, and division is going to come first. When division comes first, I like to use the term quotient, so I'm going to say the quotient of 36 and 9. Then I'm going to use a comma to separate this operation from the next. To represent the subtraction part of the problem, I'm going to use the term decreased by. So the quotient of 36 and 9 is being decreased by 12, so the expression will be the quotient of 36 and 9, comma, decreased by 12. The next three examples are going to give us the expression in word form, and we're going to write it in numerical form or number form. The word form says the sum of 5 and the product of 7 and 3. There are two vocabulary words we want to look at, and those are the words sum and product. This means there's going to be addition and multiplication. For the sum of 5, we're going to be taking the number 5 and adding it to something. The next part of the expression says and the product of 7 and 3. So 7 and 3 are going to be multiplied together. 5 will be added to this product, so we're going to put 7 times 3, and we're going to put 5 plus before it. You could also put plus 5 after 7 times 3. 7 times 3 does not have to be in parentheses because according to the order of operations, multiplication always comes first. But it's not wrong to put parentheses around it if you want to show clear grouping. In the next example, the expression is 10 less than the sum of 24 and 6. The two vocabulary words that we're going to look at are the words less and sum. This means we have subtraction and addition. This type of problem can be confusing because often we want to write 10 minus for 10 less, but in order to have 10 less than something, we have to have the other number. That means that we have to have the sum of 24 and 6 first. So we're going to add 24 and 6 together. You can put them in parentheses or not as long as the addition is first. And then we're going to put minus 10 to show 10 less than the sum of 24 and 6. So we have 24 plus 6 minus 10. The next expression is 8 subtracted from the quotient 45 and 5. The two vocabulary words we're going to look at are subtracted from and quotient. This means that we're going to have subtraction and division. Because 8 is being subtracted from the quotient, we have to have the quotient first. So first we're going to write 45 divided by 5. In order to type a division symbol, we're going to go up to the toolbar and click on insert, then go down to special characters, and then you can just start typing the word division, and it will narrow down to different characters that meet that, and then you can select one of the division symbols just by clicking on it. Close out the box, and then you can just continue typing 45 divided by 5. I've put this in parentheses, but because division comes before subtraction anyway in the order of operations, you don't have to put it in parentheses. Now that we have 45 divided by 5, we can subtract 8 from that quotient by putting minus 8. So the numerical expression is 45 divided by 5 minus 8. 